What's up, motherfuckers? Another update video here. Um, today's price action was pretty much what we wanted to see all around. Spy, holy fucking shit, was ripping to the upside today. Um, AMC, upside today. Didn't get to the double bottom. I still think we're going to see that tomorrow morning. I'll get into that in a little bit. But, you know, pretty much what we were looking for. AMC found a bounce up to that 10.6, 10.7 range, which I was calling for yesterday, where we found the rejection. And then quadruple topped or something stupid like that. And just pretty much spent the day up there. And SPY just shredding to the upside today. Almost touching 431 today. Um, I think the high of the day was 430.92. I could be wrong, but what a day. Great day today. Looking for more upside tomorrow. Um, not on SPY. And I'm going to get to that right now. So here's the side-by-side -side for SPY. All-time highs down to this point, this bottom, this bottom point here. Versus the 460 down to this bottom point here. You can actually see the start of the 460 right here. Um, perfectly symmetrical move. I'm not going to go over the symmetry today. But this is SPY's downtrend, the macro. Versus itself, all-time highs to the bottom versus 460 to the bottom. Um, <clears throat> I'm not going to go over all the landmarks and everything. I've done that a few times. But last Friday, when SPY touched 409... I, I mentioned number one, that was the, the bottom, the symmetrical bottom, the symmetrical landmark to the downside, um, and that the bottom, the bottom was in. At the same time, not only was it the symmetrical landmark to the downside, but it was also the end of the, the macro here. So last Friday, 409, um, calling that the bottom for SPY, expect upside all this week, holy fucking shit. 409 to 431 pretty much today. Just a straight line recovery out of this. This looks amazing. Um, landmark wise though, I have to say that we're gonna be seeing a pullback tomorrow. Uh, this is due for a, a cool back, uh, cool off anyway. Uh, and just landmark wise, this peak here running right across the bottom of the red box, as you see here, this peak running right across the bottom of the red box, right across the arrow point here, right across the arrow point, and right under the yellow circle. So really now what we're going to be looking for is this pullback here, which theoretically would be taking us to 424, uh, more or less, somewhere, somewhere in that ballpark of the, the 423, 424 range, possibly for tomorrow. Um, it's also possible that SPY just continues ripping to the upside. You know, it really just depends on how fast or slow this uptrend is going to play out. So far, we're flying through it. <clears throat> Having just hit this landmark here, um, we're flying through this right now. And the top of this move would be the 450 symmetrical equivalent that we're looking for. Uh, you know, after that, we're going to be looking for one final pullback to 420. And then after that, it's just all time highs. So this looks good. Spy just shredding to the upside today. Um, I am looking for a pullback tomorrow. Again, 423, 424 range. Um, and that's it. This looks great. Now getting to AMC. <clears throat> Green day today. Nice little bounce today. Here's the flat portion side by side. I'm not going to go over the whole thing. I'll just go over the end. So 2021 cycle on the left, current on the right, dropping down to your third bottom all-time low, dropping down to your third bottom all-time low. The uptrend, the rejection, chop zone, the uptrend, rejection, chop zone. And then now we are in the January 15th daily candle right here, which is the end of our macro. And I mentioned multiple times early this week, over the weekend, and all last week, that we were going to be playing out this daily candle all of this week and potentially half of next week heading into earnings. Um, and that looks like it's the case. The tracking looks great on the micro. It looks amazing. Um, <clears throat> we, st we have a little bit more to go through and, you know, we're there. We are at the end of the macro. Once again, date range on this. We are now six days away from being one-to-one -one with the flat portion from January 2021 with that six day landing on November 8th earnings. So this looks amazing. Zooming into this a little bit more now. <clears throat> so here's your third bottom all time low 2021, third bottom all time low in the current, all the landmarks are there. I'm not gonna go through it all again today, but <clears throat> got through all the chop. We didn't get the 1070 wick and we also didn't get this wick. The beginning of the January 15th uptrend here, we did not get, I mentioned in my video yesterday, um, you know, the tracking on the micro is never going to be perfect. Not getting this wick is not a big deal. Not getting the 1070 wick, also not a big deal. 
and I went over the, uh, the reason why there's macro trends, there's different macro resistances, different macro trends of each macro. So the 2021 cycle had a different resistance trend than the current one does, which is why we didn't get the full move past this 11, uh, 16, uh, which is fine. But regardless of that, I said yesterday that we were going to be in this doji candle right here. The red doji candle right here is the candle we're in right now, expecting a bounce to 10.6 to 10.7 range where we reject, and then we come back down to, to $10 still bottom. So the updated chart is right here, and that's exactly what we got. A bounce up to 10.67, I believe was the high of the day. Um, and just, you know, triple top there. This is an hourly chart. We didn't get the full pullback yet. I'm completely expecting that to happen early tomorrow morning. Um, the down spike, you know, over and over again through, through the course of this, we've just seen down spikes at open. Uh, it's usually that 9 that nine a.m. candle, 10 a.m. candle, just spike to the downside and then just climb to the upside, you know, the V, uh, climbing to the upside for the rest of the day. So that's what I'm expecting tomorrow is to knife here back down to low $10 range, potentially you poke back into the nines, high $9 range uh, early on in the morning. And then from there, just com completely shredding to the upside. If I'm gonna be completely honest, um, looking for a big move to the upside tomorrow. Um, it's possible we don't get it and I'll, I'll get into that further, but you know, that's what we're looking for. Down spike at open and then upside. And this looks amazing. So this is it zoomed in. And this is the beginning of the uptrend, January 15th. This is that wick, 20 minutes of price action. We didn't get the full wick up, it doesn't matter. This was the uptrend off, and then we pulled back to this trend yesterday. Um, and then today, I was saying this is what we're looking for now, is this uptrend back to the middle of the range, not quite as high as the local high, and then pulling back to dull bottom slightly higher. So again, over here, we're looking for a spike to 10.6, 10.7, the middle of the range, not quite forming a new high and then pulling back to this trend. And the updated chart, here it is. We got the bounce off, perfect price action. Once again, the tracking is perfect. This is exactly, exactly what we wanted to see today. Bouncing off, back up to the middle of the range, 10.6, 10.7, rejected 10.67, I believe. Um, and then just chopped up here all day long. It's a very symmetrical move, and the symmetry on the right side of this would be a knife. Uh, coming back down to this trend, like you see here, which would likely be that those opening candles, 9 a.m., 10 a.m. candles tomorrow, down spiking back down to low $10 range, potentially poking into the high nines, um, and then the rest of the day uptrend. Now, <clears throat> it's possible that tomorrow we just get a very slow, choppy downtrend day, kind of like we saw today, just back to the downside, and then just chop down here a little bit, maybe find a bounce off, and close somewhere here, looking for this on Monday. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday would be the rest of this. It's possible that's what we get tomorrow. Um, honestly, I'm leaning more on the side of we're gonna just down spike at open, you know, that volatile down spike that we always see at open, and then just start climbing to the upside. Um, do we get the full move tomorrow? I'm not sure. I mentioned yesterday and the day before, it's possible we get most of it, and then Monday at open, we just spike, get the rest of it, and then just see nothing but downside. Um, until after hours Wednesday on earnings. So again, looking for downside at open to uh, low $10 range, potentially poking into the high nines, um, and then upside from there. So that's that. Uh, here is that macro trend I was talking about yesterday. The reason we didn't get the full wick up, the January 15th, the, uh, this wick here, this wick here, the reason we didn't get this, I went over it yesterday. And I just went over it again. There's different macro trends. There's different macro resistances for each macro of AMC or any other stock you look at. The macro trend lines are never going to be the same, which is why I say all the time, literally all the fucking time, micro tracking is very difficult to do. It's not an easy thing to do. Um, you know, we're looking for an upside move. We didn't get the wick of the move. Again, 20 minutes of price action. We're looking at one minute candles from 2021 here. Um, so the micro tracking will never be perfect, but it will be close. So that macro trend that I was talking about yesterday, running this trend from the June 2nd all-time high peak straight down over your rejection point, this gap up in July, the 100% after hours move, rejecting there, and then twice more knifing to your third bottom all-time low. So zoom, zoomed in here. So that's the first rejection point, and then she just zoomed in on the July move. 
uh, three more rejections there. And then yesterday, we rejected right off of that trend. And then today we broke out of it. So this looks great. Um, that's it for that. Now, the symmetry chart. So as well as just tracking January 2021, uh, we were looking for this move, 10.6, 10.7, not quite as high, and then pulling back the double bottom here. That's what we were looking for today. We got the pop off at 10.6, 10.7. We didn't get the pullback yet. Um, looking at the other perspective of tracking, and you know, fractals are gonna fractal, so this is completely valid too. Uh, I mentioned yesterday, this was the landmark that we were at, this green, uh, this green square here compared to this one, not quite reaching the local highs yet. And then pulling back, I'm saying yesterday, the price action we're looking for, um, as far as the symmetry chart goes, is the same as January 15th. It's a pop off to the middle of the range, not quite as high. So again, 10.6, 10.7, and then coming back down to the low bottom. Uh, so again, we got the move off, and I have the updated chart now. Right here, there's the pop off to the middle of the move that you see here. We didn't get to the low bottom yet. And as a matter of fact, this was the end of the day and this is pre-market candles and this is the open candles. Down spike at open. I believe this green wick right here is a 10 a.m. candle and then just upside the rest of the day. Again, that's what we're looking for. Down spike at open, low tens, high $9 range and then upside all day. That's what we wanna see. It's also possible we just rip right at open. We don't we don't see the down spike down to this range, which is fine. Um, more than likely, we will see the down spike to this range. I'm just saying, if we don't and we just start ripping to the upside, doesn't matter. Even better. Uh, so that's that. The symmetry. You know, I mentioned multiple times. This is the iteration right underneath us, the seven dollar range, from all time lows, chopping sideways very symmetrically here, uh, versus the top of the eleven move, the rejection chopping symmetrically very sideways here. And the landmark that we're at is right here. And we just checked off this here, this bounce up to the middle of the range. Again, looking for a double bottom and then upside into our bull run for real. This is the start of the bull run. More than likely, this is gonna play out much faster than we saw previously. Um, and that's it, that's it for that. Uh, the financial freedom trend line, here it is. So the January 2021 cycle on the left, the current cycle on the right, here it is. Here's your third bottom all-time low, your third bottom all-time low. Pop up to the trend, the pop up to the trend, pull back, chopping here, pull back, chopping here. The breakout is January 15th, the daily candle, which is where we are now. We're in the January 15th daily candle um, in this doji candle right here, this red doji right in the middle. We're looking for the rest of this upside and then a knife, a V. So potentially we get the rest of this upside tomorrow. Um, potentially we get most of it tomorrow and then the rest of it Monday at open, we spike to the upside Monday at open and then the rest of Monday, Tuesday and Wednesday is the V heading into earnings where we gap up um, our macro break into our squeeze. So that's where we are. This looks amazing. Um, that's it, that's it for that. And one final thing before I go. So <clears throat> this is interesting and I threw this chart together last night and I really love the way this looks. So I wanna talk about this really quick. So the markers up here really aren't that relevant. This is just the, the January 15th, the macro, AMC's macro. So your first peak, your pullback, ascending W, your second peak, the flag, and then the downtrend, four touches on the top, your knife and your V. So again, we're at the end of the macro here. Each one of these touches was a halt uh, to pre preserve the pattern. You know, keep in mind, every time that we've touched this trend or got anywhere near this trend where we got halted, the price action is very, very volatile to the upside, um, very volatile. So, you know, <coughs> my price target, is $1,400, uh, which is reasonable. It's a Fibonacci extension. It's a very reasonable price target. Honestly, I would not be surprised if we fly through it, personally. I'm out at 1400 but I wouldn't be surprised if we fly through it. Um, the 100K nonsense needs to fucking stop. It's delusional, it's stupid, it's reckless, um, and it's baseless. There's no TA that can project a move to 100K per share. That's ridiculous. Um, I'm tired of hearing that, you know, for the people who watch me, I just, I want, you know, nothing I ever say is financial advice, but I want you to get that number 100K out of your head. 
Leave that for the exit liquidity bots. Leave that for the people that are gonna FOMO in thinking we're gonna go to 100K. $1,400 is a very reasonable price target and that is my price target and I'm gone at that price target. Um, I just went off on a bit of a tangent there. Uh, the, the main reason I'm showing this chart is because of this horizontal trend right across here at 1380, which I've mentioned multiple times is the conclusion of our V, is that weekly candle coming up to that $13, $14 range, um, which completes the V, the macro V, from which we gap up directly into our squeeze. Now, this is the floor of AMC. This 1380 trend line is the floor of AMC. And we've poked through this floor this is our fourth time now poking through this floor. So this is the original flat portion. Here's your three pokes through. Here, here's your first right here, and each one, chop down here, whatever you're doing, you climb back up to this trend at 1380, and you gap up. So right here, 1380, a little bit lower, it's probably like 1350, gap up right there. Then you break below the trend again. Again, very choppy down here, climb back up to 1380, gap up again, another gap up. Then you break below the trend again. <clears throat> and this is where we are in the macro tracking, your third bottom all time low landmark, the pop off, the pullback, the chop zone. And now this is January 15th, the daily candle that we're in, looking for the upside to 13 to $14. And again, right here, gapping up, this gap is your macro break, which takes you into your squeeze. Um, now don't be confused here and think that, okay, you know, we're gonna, we're gonna do this three more times now or two more times. Uh, play this price action out. We already played all of this out. It's right here. This is the flat portion right here. It played out on top of the previous one as support. And the only difference is the third bottom all time low is very drastic. And I've gone over all of the reasons why filling all of the gaps to the downside on the daily, um, <clears throat> triggering stop losses, shaking people out, just crushing retail even more well, through all of this retail exhaustion, just crushing retail even more with a 95% move to the downside. Also, we met Ape at the penny after hours for the conversion. This was always going to happen and it doesn't, it doesn't change the tracking. I'm just showing this trend here. Every time you break below it, you climb up to 1380, you gap up, break below it, climb up to 1380, gap up, break below it, climb up to 1380, gap up. That one's your macro break and you squeeze. And that's where we are. We're looking for the climb, that weekly candle that will conclude our V, that weekly candle to $13 to $14, which concludes our V, from which we gap up. And this again will be another macro break directly into our squeeze, where my price target is $1,400. The 3.618 Fibonacci extension, um, a very conservative price target. And that's pretty much it for the video. Now it is, it is possible that we don't have to get the full uptrend to 1380 before we gap up. I mentioned this previously. Um, anywhere from 12 to $14 here will do. So if we see that tomorrow, 12 to $14, where if we get most of the upside tomorrow or some of it, and then we see the rest of the 12 to $14 on Monday, and then we pull back to play out the micro V, that's exactly what we want to see. Um, I'm just showing this because I thought this was pretty cool. Every time you break below this, tr this trend here, this is your floor on AMC. Every time you break below it, you climb to 1380, gap up, climb to 1380, gap up, climb to 1380, gap up. That one's your squeeze. Break below it again, and now we're climbing back up to 1380. Looking for a gap up again, directly into our squeeze. Um, <clears throat> that's it for the video. I think I covered everything. Once again, we are looking for a pullback tomorrow to low $10, potentially high $9 range, and then or that would be early on in the day, the down spike it open, and then upside all day. Now, do we get the 12 to $14 tomorrow? We'll have to find out. It's possible we get some of it and finish Monday. It's possible we get all of it tomorrow. We have a crazy, a crazy green day um, tomorrow. We'll have to see. The only thing I can do is just keep tracking this. But either perspective you look at, the symmetry, we're looking for a down spike and then upside. And the January 15th, we're looking for a down spike, the double bottom here, and then upside. Um, that's what we want to see. So I think that's it for the video. Again, you know, we are now six days away from being one-to-one, -one, which that's absurd. The fact that this has played out one-to-one, -one, just think about that for a second. How? How in the, how in the fuck could this play out perfectly one-to-one? -one? Unless we're just repeating unless it's just fractals being fractals and we're just running on a loop repeating macros. 
six days away now from being one to one with that six day landing on earnings. That's it. That's it for the video. Again, down spike it open. I have to like repeat myself because I say this in my videos and then we'll see it and then someone will be like, oh my God, not again. What the fuck is going on? Down spike it open and then upside the rest of the day. Targeting 12 to $14. If we don't see it tomorrow, we'll be looking for it on Monday. That's it for the vid. Catch you guys an update tomorrow.